Welcome to Reconnecting Africa. We are here at Africulture Festival and how amazing to see something that not many people talk about. I just bump into African doctors. I want them to tell me what all this is about. Please introduce yourself, my brothers. Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Ron and this is uh, my colleague, Dr. Cordelia. Uh, we are here representing African Health. And essentially, in a nutshell, uh, African Health is uh, a network of healthcare providers. Uh, the long story short is we realize, we know that there's evidence that if people are looked after by people who look like them, they do better. And so we have basically come up with an idea to uh, have a network of African doctors or doctors with an interest in looking after African people, nurses and allied health care providers like physiotherapists, you know, psychologists and so on. And so we've got a website and uh, we've got a database where all our healthcare providers are on the database and people can go and search for a particular GP specialist or any other healthcare provider that they're interested in looking after them. Vice versa, if you're a healthcare uh, provider, you can join our organization. So it's a social enterprise organization. You can join us, we have your details, and then people can also search for your details, and then you can be able to provide your service uh, to our African people. Mm -hmm. And it seems to work today, my sister. One thing I want to ask you. Yeah. Okay. Myself, I've been in Australia for 30 years. This is the first time you believe me or not, and I'm really excited. This is the first time I bump into black doctors, and that really means a lot for me and for a lot of African people, black people, because we know only black people understand our body. I mean. Yeah, no, I know, absolutely, and, and I'm really happy to hear that because that's what we're about, really. We're just, it's about visibility that we do exist. It's often quite difficult to find healthcare professionals who may be from a similar cultural background or look like you, and that we don't, there isn't actually a directory or anything like that in Australia where you can find people that easily. So we wanted to put all that information together on a website. Um, and actually, we just wanted to get the message out that you know, we do exist. There are a few of us and we've got a network. And um, yeah, we're here, you know, we're here to help. What motivated you to, to become a doctor? To help the Australian community or you feel more about your people? Well, I mean, that's a very tricky question. Um, look, I mean, I was born in Zimbabwe. And um, so, I had an interest in becoming a doctor even before I came to Australia and my mother is a nurse so I grew up getting exposed to uh, I guess healthcare providing and so uh, I think I used to watch my mum going to work and I used to go to work and I used to see how the doctors were making a difference in people. That's really what motivated me to become a doctor. <coughs> Oh, me too, yeah, no, um, well, I'm from England originally, and uh, there, there aren't any medics in my family, but I've always had an interest in health from an early age, and, and seen, you know, we live in a time where there's a lot of health inequalities, and I think from a young age, I felt passionate to, or compelled to want to, want to do something about that, or make a change or a difference, and um, this is why I went into medicine, I'm, I'm a ge general practitioner up on the central coast, so... I see a, a wide breadth of different medical presentations and uh, one of my key areas at the moment is preventative health so that's something that we're trying to promote here as well is you know we don't personally as a general practitioner I don't want to see I don't want people to come to me when they're sick really sick obviously they come to me when they're sick but we want to see people when they're well and talk about preventative health and screening uh, to prevent them from going on to getting very sick and it's really nice to see our brothers here doing things that as African people, as black people, regardless where we were born, we are all African, being black, to see 
them doing those things. So, how people can contact you on the app? Yeah, 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 thank you. I mean, this is our website. If you go on the website, you'll be able to find all the information about how to get in touch with us. Okay. Just one question before I leave. Yeah. This is Shana for Reconnecting Africa. It's about going back to our roots. You were born in England. For me, I say, there's nothing. You are African. Thank you. Are you in the future thinking of doing something to Africa, to the continent? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, there's always that possibility. Like, um, I, I do have constant contact with some of the people in Zimbabwe, where I was born, and um, if the opportunity arises to be able to contribute, um, I would definitely take on it. But at the moment, I, I don't. I'm not doing anything at the moment. Ooh. What about you, my dear sister? Yeah, I mean that's that, that. That is the hope that we can spread our wings further and and provide help and resources and information to anybody who identifies within the African diaspora, so whether that be here in Australia or a wider continent, um, and also people of colour, importantly. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank you so much. We are African people and our aim is to contribute to Africa. I really thank you and the support those doctors. Thank you. And hopefully one day they go back to Africa and work in the community. Thank you so much, doctor.